there is a new token that you can airdrop farm right now. It is Portal Coin. In this video, I'm going to break that down for you. Tips, tricks, tactics, and all of that down below. There are chapters so you can fast forward to the sections that you want to help you navigate the video easier. Skip forward to the good parts. Also, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Please do your own research before moving into the crypto or NFT space, but saying that it is very, very low risk. So the TLDR of this is Portal Coin is releasing a token called Portal, and what they're currently doing is they're gamifying the um, token through airdrop farming and this is literally about a day old so how can you participate in the airdrop go to their x account have a look down for the tweet here look for the link here crystal dash now crystal dash is their social fire or so fire platform which lets them track points on twitter and essentially give you points which will then lead to an airdrop and then what you can see here is you will have to sign up you will have to connect your twitter account there are permissions everyone's doing it the permissions look safe but please look over them and just make sure that you're comfortable with it don't just follow in and accept all of these permissions. What you'll then do is you will then have a page like this. Now, once you are set up and you essentially have this page, how to play, what you do is you essentially post on Twitter and mention at PortalCoin. Now, what you then do is you then get points per views, likes, replies, reposts, quotes, all of that. Now, what this means is it means that every time you post something, you will then get points. Now, quick note, it won't be immediate. It might take one, two, three hours for this to refresh. You can see my last points were refreshed four hours ago. Um, and since then, I think I have posted and actually done some stuff but what happens with this is please don't freak out if you don't see points pop up straight away now they also have a points calculator just to give you an idea now my multiplier is 280 and this goes off i think your followers so you can see here if i get six likes um uh, three replies one repost and one quote, I then have the potential to get 114,000 points. And then from there, your points essentially go up and you get to different levels. So if you're actually on X at the moment, what you'll see is you'll see a whole bunch of people that are airdrop farming these points. So you can see Ryan D, he puts out a tweet an hour ago, GM to all portal coin farmers. I'll be interacting with posts. I then interact and drop the portal coin uh, sort of handle and then he replies to me and what this means is it means he's getting views likes all of that so you can see here ryan's got 153 likes all of these um quotes all of that so there will be a lot of farming that is happening now how long will this last how long do you have to get into this it just started a day ago and there are six days left in this session now does that mean that the airdrop is at the end of the six days no um everything is so new everything is so speculative but it means that you've got six days to rush in right now and it's only been open for around 24 hours so if you are are going to act on this act on this sooner than later now what are some tactics and what should you do to stay safe first off to stay safe don't make every single post a post about portal coin make sure you actually do regular posts in between because you don't want x to think that you're a bot account also if you are verified it does help a little bit in proving that you're not a bot if you do have bots that are um, posting and retweeting your stuff be careful with who you're interacting with now this is still speculation but you don't want to absolutely tank your engagement you don't want to be engaging with a whole bunch of bots that are farming the token that are seeing your post engaging with your post hoping that you'll engage with their post and then boost their numbers up so be careful with who you're interacting what i'm doing is people that i actively follow and people that follow me if they post up i will then like i will then farm with them and that's what you'll see now when it comes to the types of posts the best posts i think are the ones that seem a little bit more engaging something that asks a question tries to get the viewer to actually engage with you which then leads to more of a conversation and what i like to do is my responses to the farming to get a response in return is to actually add a bit of a question or make it a little bit more fun and engaging this means that you're then going to have more of a chance of getting a reply and getting that reply will then essentially get you more views get you more exposure get you more likes which will then get you um, more points and you should really have a bit of fun with this. Post videos, post memes, whatever you can do, and then throw in portal coin. This will help you out. You can see cool times here. He's got 3,300 views, a whole bunch of likes, retweets, quotes. If you do do memes, memes are easy for people to then quote, um, retweet them, repost them, and it really helps out. So as long as you're not just going um, sort of at portal and just uh slam it out that way if you actually add some memes in add a little bit of fun it then it prompts people to actually farm with you it makes it a little bit easier to rack up those points 
Now, why would you want to participate and engage in it? Well, Tipcoin did a whole bunch of this social fire gaming where people were posting a whole bunch of um, sort of tips, and this was just going absolutely crazy. And when they actually launched their token, when people airdropped, they actually made a fat bag, um, depending on what they actually did. Uh, Crypto Gorilla said that he ended up getting one ETH from Tipcoin from a video that he posted, which went viral on X. So it's crazy the amount of cash that can be made on these. The same thing with meme coin. Meme coin farmers and meme coin as a whole is really big on the farming aspect and the fact that meme coin is performing really well, it just shows you that engaging in these low risk farming things can actually pay off. Now, what is my personal strategy? I will. Now, what is my personal strategy? I will be posting three or four times a day day in between other posts. It won't be every second post. It might be every fourth or fifth post when it comes to portal coin. Now I'm making this video right now so I can put it up so I can then get the engagement, get the retweets, do all that hundred um, percent and then see how it goes because it is low enough effort that there could be a reward on the other side. If the reward is absolutely nothing, if it flops, that's cool. Um, but I see it as a low risk and you're seeing a lot of big heavy hitting people participating. It's a little bit of fun. It's a little bit of vibes. It's good. I'm making sure that I am not being obnoxious to people on the timeline. I'm just adding into the fun and just adding to the vibes because what will happen in two or three months time, everyone f will forget about this. Your feed will disappear and then that is it. Now, I guess what is portal coin. Now I'm not claiming to be an expert because it is quite new and I'm still doing my research on it right now, but they have some big partners, Magic Eden, Polygon, Solana, um, and what I can see here is they're looking to find a token that can go in between all of the different games. So if you have a game and tokens so that you can then buy, trade, sell within uh, one particular game, you can then move it to the other. And then when you get to their website, they kind of have um, some of the games that they have onboarded um, at the moment. Now this is all like I've not confirmed this, so this we just have to go off um, what they're saying as truth. But these are some of the games that they have onboarded. The idea is that people will be able to play these games, and this will be an interoperable coin that should go between all of them. So that's what it's looking to solve. And the idea with this is if the gaming meta does take off, if it really does run and go crazy, this should pop off and do quite well because of the speculative nature of the crypto space and people wanting gaming tokens and this fits right into that mix. Now why would they be doing this kind of attack? The idea is that right now they're going to get a lot of exposure, a lot of attention um, which then helps them actually uh, run out and fund a pre-sale. They then airdrop a whole bunch of people that have essentially marketed for them and then we're good to go. So that is a breakdown of Portal Coin. everything that you need to know. Um, over the next coming days there will be much more information that will come out. People will come up with better breakdowns, all of this kind of stuff. This is new. I wanted to get this out to you as soon as possible. And I also wanted to farm up some of that coin. If you are engaging in this, if you are participating down below in the um, sort of section, don't be afraid to kind of, um, yeah, farm it do whatever i will be there out in the field working to get all of those points so i had a pleasure making this video hopefully you enjoyed watching it if you did make sure you hit that like button for the points and i look forward to seeing you in the next one